and, be and begin. What's up guys? I got something different today. I don't do a lot of these. I don't have it lately, but I've got a product review. After I drink my coffee, just going from work. I've got a product review uh, that I've had. I put about 300 miles on this product on a motorcycle. It is a motorcycle accessory. And um, let me set this coffee aside. I'll just sit on the floor over here and grab it. So it is a sheepskin motorcycle seat cover. Um, it's wool. And I'll, I'll take it off here and show you how it ate up, good it up, put it on. But, you know, over the last few years of riding adventure bikes, I've noticed that a lot of guys who tour on their motorcycles, go for long rides, have sheepskin seat covers on their bikes. And I never, I always thought it'd be painstakingly to keep it dry and things like that. But um, it's actually, you know, they, everybody, every website, everybody says they keep you cooler in the summer because, you know, you're not sitting on vinyl or leather and there's enough room here to get airflow underneath you and you're not... Uh, you're not sweating by sticking to the vinyl or leather seat. Um, and I've seen a lot of people that have these. Um, I think Everride even started selling them on his, his website or whatever at one point. Uh, and the last ride I did with the Brass Monkey Motorcycle Riders, seasonably known as the Sweaty Monkey Motorcycle Riders, uh, Daryl, one of the guys I rode with it with the red BMW 650, had one on his bike. And I liked it. It looked good. It felt soft. So I decided to come home and do some research and, and find one for myself. So the way this one attaches, it's got a, um, a uh, an elastic band that goes over the front part of the seat. And you see this has a little bit that tucks in. I, this is the way my seat is shaped. It may be different on your bike, uh, but it keeps this, keeps the, this flap here keeps it from uh, flying around. And Daryl made a comment on his. He doesn't have the same name brand of, that I have, but his doesn't have a strap that's as close to the front. So if he stands up at any speed, the, uh, the sheepskin kind of folds back and he has to fix it before he sits down on it. And then on the back, it has two very nice leather um, strings or leather laces, whatever you want to call them. And uh, I'll just take it all the way off the seat here. And I don't know the exact dimensions, but I'll put a link to the website and all that good stuff here in a minute. So the name of the place that sells it is... Um, uh, wildthingsfur.com and you can see their website right there and this is a size uh, the single but it's pretty wide I'll get a measuring tape and measure it real quick so the skin part front to back I'm not counting how far the, the uh, wool overhangs the back this is just the leather it is 18 and a half inches long that way and it looks like the widest part here is 17 inches so 17 by 18 inches and it's really I mean this is thick I don't even let me see how thick it is just sitting on the table like that um, it's sitting up probably it's at least two inches thick so that wool on the other side is at least two inches thick uh, and it does come in different colors uh, because of the color of my bike this is the color I got uh, these leather uh, straps, there's a hole uh, punched into the leather on the back, and this is one long lace. It's, weaving, it's woven through there, and it's tied in a half hitch so it doesn't come off. And you have the two uh, free-running ends that you can tie off however you need to tie it off on your particular seat. But uh, after I put about 300 miles on this seat uh, this previous weekend, Saturday, a friend of mine came up from Norfolk, and we did uh, Skyline Drive. I uh, haven't posted that video yet. This will probably be posted first. And um, I can tell you what I paid for this. Uh, here's my invoice right here. This piece of uh, this seat cover right here uh, was a grand total of $60. Uh, they charged $12 shipping, so it came to $72.80 $72 for shipping. So $72.80 shipped to my door. Uh, everywhere else I've seen them, they're at least $100. And I don't know the quality of the other ones. I haven't seen them. But this is um, handmade. You can clearly see that from the stitching. You can see that from where uh, you can see the stencil mark where they do the line and, and hand cut the leather piece out. So if you're looking for a uh, sheepskin seat cover for your motorcycle, go check out, and I'll put a link in the description, www.wild, what was that, what I say it was? Wildthingsfur.com. They make hats, gloves, mittens. They got all kinds of things made out of fur. They got different types of fur that you can get. They got wool, fox, raccoon, skunk all kinds of stuff. 
Yeah, definitely. This is not, they don't know I'm doing this video. I'm not paid by them. I'm not getting anything from this video. So uh, I just thought I'd share that. If you're interested in getting a sheep sense seat cover, after putting 300 miles on this, it's, it's a no-brainer. Uh, I have no buying regrets for this. It is worth its weight in gold. So you guys be safe, and I'll talk to you soon. My next video should be the last ride I did with my buddy on Skyline Drive. Later. What's up, guys? I just want to take this couple of seconds here to thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. I, I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Please leave a comment, and I will always comment and get back to you guys. You know I always do. And if you're in a local area or you're passing through and you got time and I have time, maybe we can meet up for a cup of coffee, smoke a cigar, go for a motorcycle road, <laughs> motorcycle road, go for a motorcycle ride, or even wet a hook out in the river or a pond somewhere. I appreciate it. Y'all be safe, and I'll talk to you again on the next video.